Rebels, welcome back to my channel. So today I am in a different location. I figured this might be a little bit more beneficial. I'm trying out this spot right here for my hauls. I usually do them upstairs in my bedroom, but I think this might be a little bit better space wise. But today I have a Forever 21 summer haul. Now I have been waiting to do this just because I wanted to make sure I'll get my order and I just got my order in yesterday. I am filming today and I will post tomorrow because Forever 21 is one of those places where you order something and then in two weeks it's psh, it's gone. They don't restock. So I wanted to make sure in case you see any pieces that I'm wearing that you can actually order them. I have a mixture of, actually not too much of a mixture, a lot of dresses and then this top right here. I can't really remember what I ordered. It's not too big of an order but Plenty of stuff to show you guys, perfect for summer. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it is free, 99, and also click that bell. You can ring my bell. So my whole deal with Forever 21 right now is I am in between sizes. I used to just be the plus line and I will always wear zero X because I was a 14. Now I have lost more weight, kind of like weird. I'm like a 12. Well, I said I'm almost to a 12 and it's really exciting, but now I'm like in that funky, funk, I, I didn't say the F word, I said funky, funky stage where I'm a 12, but then I'm kind of like a 13 and I don't know, you know, you guys know Forever 21 sizes are kind of weird. So I am now in the regular line an extra large. Uh, but some of the extra large is too big, so it's it's weird. But unfortunately, a lot of my Zero X clothes, I had so many cute dresses and rompers and all that, a lot of it looks super baggy on me and it looks just too big and I'm floating all over the place. It shows no shape and size. I do wear some of the stuff. I try to make it work, but I'm really excited. I'm still losing weight. The only thing is I have so many cute pieces and I'm like, really? I just got them like a couple months ago. And I'm someone where I really just wear the crap out of clothes. I constantly wear the same things. And when I like a piece, I will wear it. I'll wear it three to four times within the week. Ain't no shame in my game. So this shirt right here, I really liked it online just because it reminds me of this BB shirt I got. And I remember I got that shirt for about 65. This one is definitely not 65. I think it was like 17 something. I'll put the prices and everything. This is a size extra large. Now the only problem with this shirt is it completely fits all around, except your girl. I am 5'9", so for this one, it is reaching like right above my belly button. I just have some leggings on. So it is too short. I know this shirt is supposed to look like this, like while I'm slouching like normal, but since I am tall, it'll go up even higher. And it just, it looks funny. So unfortunately, it doesn't fit that way. Either things are too big or maybe a little bit too tight in my thighs or I'm just too tall. Sometimes some dresses can look like t-shirts on me. Yeah. I think this shirt is super cute. If you're like, around 5'7 and below, this will be perfect for you. Oh, another thing is, even if you are 5'9", say that you have a smaller chest, that will obviously give you more length. So the breastuses are not helping in the length department, so just keep that in mind. And next up, I have this pineapple dress. And to be quite honest, this does not fit me whatsoever. It fits super funky. I'm really sad because it's so hard to come by a pineapple dress. And what's really hard also is the length is perfect because it's not too short. My butt ends right here, so there's enough length. As you can see, this is what I don't like, are floating dresses. Floating dresses are a no-no. Look, here's my waist right here, and I would want something that's a little bit more form-fitting so that it can really cinch me in and give me shape. This is just floating out. I mean, I'm not trying to wear a dress where I have to really alter it. It's just a waste of money and time just because, you know, I want something that's affordable where I don't have to go out of my way to even put more money into a dress that isn't necessarily like the best quality. It's pretty like cheap feeling actually. It feels like a thin, thin rayon. The print itself is really cute, and where the breast is supposed to end, Here's the seam right here. So this should actually be down here. Uh, I had the straps lower, but then it was just way too low. And this is what the back looks like. See, so I do like that though, because it can cover the bra strap and it fits perfectly like that way. For this one, you could add a belt. It's just that the cut of this is way too low. And the seam, like I said, is right in the middle of my chest. So this one, I'm unfortunately gonna have to let go. If it was in like this, that would be perfect. And if I can bring this up, but uh, that's just doing too much for me, so I'm gonna have to pass on this. This isn't like my favorite strapless bra, FYI. I had another one, but I had to use it for dance, so I need to repurchase it. I just, I usually use Maiden Form, and it's the one with three latches with a thicker band in the back, and I get it from Target. It is probably my favorite one. It's just, I can't wear anything with a really thin band or else it just slides down. 
This one has like a like a medium band and it's not too bad. It's from Victoria's Secret, but this bra isn't my best fitting one right now. But this just looks funky. This should be down. Yeah. Ain't nobody trying to see that right now. This is a size extra large, and like I said, some extra large may fit me, some may not. It all just depends on the style and cut. Things can be like really inconsistent with Forever 21, but hey, I'm not complaining because everything's super affordable. Now, this dress, I do have a cream bra on. I personally like wearing like a full bra, so if I can get away with it, I will. To be quite honest, it doesn't really bother me if my bra strap is showing like a little like that. You can always use fashion tape and place it right here and then place the straps on there. That will definitely help. At least put it in the front and you can hold it down like on the thicker areas right here. So I would probably do that in the future. Now this does come with a tie. I'm super excited just because I love, you know, this is like a summer islandy print. Now you can tie it either in the back or in the front. I'm usually like a fan of in the front. So I have a smaller waist and wider hips. This just is optimal for my body type. It really flatters it and it gives me shape just so I don't look just completely straight down. See? how much of a difference that does. This is what I was talking about for like the last pineapple dress, the one that was just, a, I call it a floater, how it just comes right in, ties you in, you can tie it as tight as you want. And this is what the back looks like. Like I said, you can always just kind of play around with the straps. Luckily for me, like I have longer hair so I can cut, I can cover that, you know, and it wouldn't really bother me. You can definitely wear a strapless bra, but like I said, my personal preference is just to have the girls Supported. The material is really nice and soft and it doesn't feel as cheap as the uh, as the last dress that I just tried on and Here's the side. It comes up high. It's not too low So I like that as well as far as the dress as you can see it doesn't completely hit my ankles uh, That isn't really like make or break it for me. I think it's long enough. It looks a little high watered, but I really love this slit right here. I think it gives it like a really cute summer vibe. I think this one is definitely a keeper. I absolutely love it. I think the fit is super comfortable. The material is nice and light and it's like perfect for summer. So whoop. super excited about this one. This is probably going to be like my new favorite dress that I probably wear seven days a week. I know I'm gross. This is a surplus dress. Now I have never technically searched surplus. I didn't even even know what a surplus was surplus dress I don't know but your girl has been loving them I had one in like one of my other hauls and it was a floral piece with like flowers brown like tints and it was navy blue wore it in Maui Glenn was trying to be so sweet and he did my laundry and once my laundry was done he dried it and it shrunk thanks babe you're so <laughs> You're just so cute. I'm kidding. I literally was like, uh -uh. cause some stuff you can wash on cold and then you just like let it air dry. You don't want to shrink it. And this went on hot heat and it's literally, it's for someone who's probably 4'11 now. Anyhow, just be careful with these clothes, but this is a surplus dress. And what it has is a smocked waist and it has like bat wings. Do you guys remember when I, <laughs> let's fly. <laughs> Off to the next outfit. Remember that video? That was really fun. <laughs> well, anyhow, it has a low V right here, but not too low where it's getting too risque. It's like comfortable low. The sleeves feel so comfortable. They have like, what do, what do you call this? Like dolman type of vibe. Has a smocked waist right here. And I love the stretch in it. Now let's bring it down low, 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 low. And I am obsessed. It's not too short. My bottom ends right here, so there's still some length. So excited about this dress. I think it looks so cute. I love how it still gives shape to the waist and it flares out. It's not too short. So in case you hit up a place like, I don't know, a buffet or heavy food Italian, this thing stretches. I wish this came in other colors because I would buy every single color. I'm one of those people where if I like a style, I will buy, buy every color and wear it to death. Plus what I love about black is you can dress this up or down. You can add splashes of color because even though this is a summer haul, I'm sure some of you are like, girl, that's a black dress. Like, what are you doing? What's perfect about black is that you can dress it up or dress it down and add tons of like splashes of color. So say like I have a bright pink bag I rarely wear. Bam, this is like the time to just wear it and it turns into a whole summer outfit. I like a cute hat, bright pink, you know, bag, some cute sandals and you're good to go and you look summertime fun. Okay guys, so now this is an outfit where I really wanted it to work and I'm kind of on the fence. I put it on and 
Already off the bat, you can see how low it is. I am not the biggest fan of just having my, my choo cheese out like that. So I don't know, I have this pattern too and I'm not big on pattern, but I love how it cinches at the waist. I'm gonna show you what kind of uh, back it is right here. It is an open back, so a cream bra would be optimal. If you guys have a perkier chest, then obviously you don't have to wear a bra like that. Or I'm thinking maybe like a bandeau. It's like a whole pant jumper. I don't really like this area too much, but I feel like the material will end up stretching where it feels more comfortable because I legit, I have a camel toe. <laughs> so I'm not really too sure how I feel about this area. It is a little bit tight. And then also the pants, they aren't supposed to go all the way down. They are a little bit higher, as you can see. There's the side. I don't know, it's like one of those funky outfits where I'm not sure if I even want to try to make it work. I think it looks cute because it has like the whole tie right here. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know down below since I'm posting this tomorrow. I'm not returning my stuff yet. There's my dog, Yeppy. <laughs> She's making the little cameo. But yeah, I don't know. I think the outfit looks so cute. It's just a little tie right here, but it's almost like the material that's gonna like stretch, you know? It's almost like when you take a pair of pants, stick it in the dryer, and then it's a little bit tight, and then once you wear it, you're like, okay, now it's back to normal. Latches right here, just kidding. Um, there's only that one, it still goes down low though. I don't know, I'm not sure about this one. I'm gonna have to think about it for a little. Next up I have this dress right here and it is so comfortable and I'm usually not one to get anything where it has like this elastic type of um, shoulder just because usually when you have these, sometimes they are so tight, they're restricting and it's literally like <laughs> One time I had a shirt like this and what all I did was I was like and I freaking ripped it just so I could stretch it out but then it ended up just like hanging super low and I was like great. But this one is so comfortable. This size for this dress is an extra large and it fits perfect. It fits so good. It's smocked and then it's just so flowy. Like I love it. It's not too short either. This I'm so happy of because sometimes dresses are so short on me. I will say I think Dresses aren't as short on me anymore because I have lost weight so they're not as lifted, you know, but I still have that issue with Forever 21 because a lot of the dresses are made for, you know, like the, whatever the average is. <laughs> you know, just short enough, nice and cute, where you can still bend over and like your whole butt isn't gonna be out. So my butt ends right here, so there's still a lot of dress left and then it's just elastic right here. I'm wearing a strapless bra. Again, smocked right at the waist. I love it. I think this is so cute. Really nice material too, and it is tiered, so there is one layer right here and the second. No third though. Next up, I have like this denim type of dress. Now, I've never really been too big into like the whole denim jacket and denim on denim. I don't know, it just really wasn't my thing, but I always thought denim dresses were super cute. So I found this one and here's a good example on how Forever 21 sizes, sometimes it's just really hit or miss. It just depends on the cut of the dress. This is a size extra large. It fits perfect on the chest area. Now, if you see the dress, it has a little tie right here. Just comes like this. It's actually attached to the dress, like a little knot or a bow or something. Now this looks good, but when you look at it, from afar, it is way too tight. It is snug on this area right here, and it is too tight on my butt. I mean, I love the slits on the side, and I think it really gives my butt a little bit more shape, but I feel like it's just too tight in this area. Like if I sit down, it's just hugging too tight at my midsection. So, and I feel, see, I'm already pulling it down. Like I feel like I'm tugging it too much, and it's just too tight. I mean, I think it looks really cute, but I'm someone where I do have hips, so this definitely wouldn't work out. I think it's so cute though, like if I could just give a little bit more pull on the hips, this would be perfect. And I'm kind of sad because I really got this because wouldn't this look so cute with just some Converse? Such a cute outfit. Super simple, casual. The material is so soft on this, like really, really nice. It's almost, oh my gosh, it's super like velvety almost feels like. Unfortunately, too tight in this area. I have like no give. Okay, so I went upstairs to go change and I thought this was gonna be a tank top. All of a sudden I looked at the package and it was like this little, clear little Ziploc and it said black dress. And I was looking at it like, how can a dress even fit in there? Well, this happens to be a dress. Yes, it is very cheap. I will say the material is super, Silky again, like a really good material. I don't know, it is really thin though. This is not black, this is like a faded black. It almost looks like 
one of my old dresses that I've worn seven days a week for a couple months. This dress actually fits really well at my waist. I love the way how it like shapes my body. The only thing is it's too short. Here's where my butt ends and look, there's like barely any material. See, my butt ends right here and I only have that. If I sneeze, I'm game over. My, uh, my treasure box is right here. <laughs> So if you guys are ever wondering, my headbands are always from Forever 21, like 95% of the time. And just to let you know, if you guys love pineapples like me, they have a pineapple shower cap right now. <laughs> I want to do like an Instagram picture with it because I think it's so funny. And then for the very last item I have to show you is this little shirt that says Sweetie. I did get it an extra large for this shirt. It is a more stretch material. See, so it really clings on. There's nothing loose about it, so it's nice and stretchy, which I like because I don't want my sweetie like not being able to stretch or else it might say a different word. <laughs> Sometimes with these shirts when they have like the words on them, you know how they kind of see, I can already tell though, this is like a cheaper shirt. I'm already spreading it apart and you can see the white coming through. Shoot, okay, this quality of shirt is not that good, but I just thought it was so cute and I figured I wanted to get it so I could wear it for a video. All right guys, well that is it for today's video. Really quick before you guys leave, I wanted to make a quick announcement saying that I will be sticking to a YouTube schedule now. Before I would just like upload my videos within the week, I have one Friday, one Sunday, one Tuesday, all random days. Now since YouTube has been making all these mistakes with notifying people and even with the bell when you click it, I'd really appreciate it if you do click the bell. If you haven't clicked it yet, click the bell. I'd really appreciate it, but for some reason, it's still not showing up in a lot of people's fees or you guys are getting unsubscribed. It is really making me so sad because I have people that have been watching me and they're like, you never pop up. Even like fellow vloggers who are my friends are like, dude, your videos never pop up. And I'm like, what? the heck. Now I'm gonna be uploading my videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Let me know down below how you guys feel about those days. Just so you guys always know, oh, Lizzie posts every Tuesday and Thursday. Let me go check her channel out. So it's just like really disappointing what's happening with YouTube and messing up everybody's feeds. It just sucks. So for me to fix that on my part, I'm gonna stick to a Tuesday and Thursday schedule. No matter what, I will always upload Tuesdays and Thursdays and I'll see you back on my channel then. Don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this haul. I had so much fun. I mean, I have a lot of fun doing these hauls and I hope it helps you guys out too because I wanted to do it quick so you guys can order things just in case. And I think that's it. All right, my fine apples, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah, woo -hoo. Here we go, it's all about you. It's all about me, it's all about what we do. Making art, you and me. Trying to find something to believe